Jesus asked them, whom do you seek? They answered him, Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus said unto them, I am he. As soon as he said unto them, I am he, they went back and fell on the ground. Jesus was bold like a lion. And Jesus is the gold standard of Christianity. And if you claim to be a child of God, you have to be bold like a lion. And you know what they say about lions. Lions don't lose sleep over the opinions of sheep. For you to become everything God has intended for you to become, to reach the heights God has planned for you, it demands boldness. It demands boldness to be a child of God. It demands boldness to walk by faith and not by sight, to go where you've never walked before. It demands boldness to reach for what you've never reached for before. It demands boldness to win. It demands boldness to break chains. It demands boldness to fight when you're tired. It demands boldness to be above average. It demands boldness to be more than a conqueror. Boldness, boldness, boldness. I don't think you understand me. The door is open to those bold enough to knock. It says in the word of God, ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door shall be opened society where we have access to many religions, how do we decide which one to follow? Well, I only know one way of deciding which of anything to believe is on the basis of evidence. You see, there's a confusion about faith. Many people have accepted Dawkins' definition of faith as believing where there's no evidence. That's nonsense. Faith is an ordinary word. It's not just a religious word. It's an ordinary word. It means trust. And usually, I suspect that all of you, you don't trust either facts or people without having evidence, or else you're a bit silly. And your bank manager won't trust you with a loan unless you provide evidence of collateral. Isn't that true? We all know what evidence-based faith is. Come on, y'all. Use your mind. Open it. Like, really think about this. Really think of, that's why I said, I can look at spirituality and know how it is forsaking the Lord by knowing the Bible. By knowing Satan tricks. By knowing Satan schemes. By knowing the Lord. It says the fear of the Lord um, comes wisdom. The first thing when it comes to wisdom and understanding is first fearing the Lord. And that literally the, the wisdom, the knowledge, it will come to you. For the Lord is gracious when it comes to wisdom. Anybody that asks for wisdom and understanding, the Lord shall give it. And when you start really asking for wisdom and understanding, how I'm putting two and two together, like the beginning message of the scripture, putting the pieces and the puzzles together, Right here. You will be able to do it. Izuku Midoriya has a very important power. He left UA because he didn't want to cause trouble for anybody. We're the ones who made him come back. Just because someone has a special power, that doesn't mean they're a special person. The heroes are the ones who are getting dirty. They're the people who have to wash away the stain. Watching him trying to save people so desperately got me thinking. When a hero is in pain, when heroes are suffering, the ones who will protect them are, are the ones they fight for. Izuku Midoriya is carrying the burden of his power and trying to keep us safe. But he still has a lot to learn. He's just a kid. This is the story of how I became the world's greatest hero. Sure. But not just me. It's the story of how we all became. So, which pair of shoes did you pick out? Those! It's gotta be them! This is the story of how I became the world's greatest hero. But not just me. It's the story of how we all became the greatest of heroes. Victoria, we can't just sit here! It shouldn't be us this time. Mr. Jekyll, I'm sorry! Forgive me! I was too afraid to say anything before. That girl was trying so hard to get everyone to let you stay. And I knew I had to do something. I'm here. So you don't have to cry anymore. Everything will be okay. A bunch of the shelters turned me away. 
Yue was the only refuge that would welcome me. I got to see you again, so I'm happy. Thanks for what you did back then, crybaby hero. <laughs> What's up, you all? Welcome to Catching Puzzle Pieces. What do I mean? Welcome to gaining new understanding, new insights, new revelations from Father God, from Abba, our Father who is in heaven. Experiencing more light bulb moments. that eventually lead us to uh, where we are renewing our mind continually, right? We're applying that verse. Don't be ye, I think it's Romans 12, 2. Don't be ye conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind Miguel or put your put your own name right there if you'd like if you really want to experience uh, a more fulfilling life so as we renew our mind, this, uh, Father God removes the veil from our eyes. We're, we're able to, to catch the correct puzzle pieces, right? We're able to catch the correct puzzle pieces. The puzzle starts to come more, become, starts to become more clear, the picture. So our perception changes of our life of ourselves, of the world, uh, and it changes, it begins to change from our carnal perception to Father God's perception to, to what the Holy Spirit is, is revealing to us, to each of us. Each of us is going through our own walk, through our own journey, and we're in different seasons. Uh, well, some of us in different parts of the world might be in the in, in the same season just be in different parts of the world right uh, but some of you may barely be about to hit your rock bottom i hit my rock bottom uh what was it 2012 and i was suffering and i was crying and crying out to father god even though i didn't believe in father god i didn't have a well, I guess then I was already starting to believe because I was suffering, right? Uh, wanted to kill myself at that time. I still didn't have a relationship with Father God. Uh, and the mo the craziest thing that I, I now think back, right? I never went to look for Jesus, to, for my Lord. He came to me in prison when I was in, in prison. Uh, of course, I also took action. I... Uh, that opportunity came for us to go to that to Bible study program and that's where that opportunity came it's where my journey began right I wanted to kill myself I drank uh, alcohol to the point where I was drinking still reserve 340 ounce bottles every day almost pretty much about four I was drinking about four 40 ounce bottles every day and I couldn't stop I couldn't stop drinking I was witnessing myself I was witnessing myself walking to the store to go get me my bottle and I was like what am I doing I don't want to do this I don't want to do this but I was still doing it and I was already conscious and I was witnessing myself doing that right suffering in the prison a lot of people are suffering right now they're in the prison of whatever the consequences they are living right now of the decisions that we made 
It could have been 10 years ago. It could have been six years ago. It could have been four years ago, you know? But I don't want to make this too long. So I just, I guess I just wanted to share with y'all how Father God is so awesome. Father God is so awesome. That's why I give him the great, the glory. He, he, by his grace, I am here. By his grace, I get to share this with you all. Uh, and catching puzzle pieces. Yeah. And that's, that, this, this is my purpose to teach you guys how to catch puzzle pieces, how to renew your mind, how to, uh, how I have learned to apply the word of God daily right uh, how to share my testimony with what my lord has done for me right and what he has done for me doesn't take from you guys because this is a testimony that can inspire you can give you hope can give you faith uh where you can see that God is real because I'm only human. I'm a sinner just like you are. I make mistakes every day. I mess up every day. Uh, every day is a battle, you know. Like T.D. Jakes, he spoke about can you handle, right? Can you handle? This was like two years ago, three years ago when I listened to this. And I was like, oh, okay, I caught that. I understood that that message that puzzle piece right from father god through td jakes this was about people who, who like for him him for example if anyone out there is like jealous of of td jakes of his where father god has him uh right can you can those individuals handle all the stuff that that td jakes deals with can you handle what comes with with that blessing right that's what he was speaking about and i was like mm, dang that's true right so you know every day is a battle uh i don't mean it's like a physical battle that's not what i mean thank father god uh it's, it's a spiritual battle psychological battle emotional battle right because we're dealing with people with individuals uh, emotional psychological manipulators in the world through the day we battle not against flesh and blood but against principalities uh the dark rulers of this world right And that's now I understand that that's why I'm be, I've been persecuted too because because all I'm all I'm focused on is doing the right thing, doing the right thing. Because now I know <laughs> it's like if you do your best every day and you do the right thing every day, every day you're moving forward. You don't see it; it doesn't look like it because you're tired. You're like, oh, you know, damn, I'm tired, like or whatever, right? I did a lot. You did your best. So you don't see it, but you're actually inching a little bit more forward every day. Your skills are becoming better. And over time, people are like, dang, how can this person do this? Well, every day you do your best. Every day you do your best. Every day you do your best in everything that you do. Personal responsibility. That's why I'm not happy when I mess up, but I'm like, okay i get to learn now from this i'm uh so i'm grateful whenever i i miss i have no problem accepting if i have up if i have up okay i messed up i messed up uh and then i reflect and i'm like okay this 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 and this happened all right next time i need to whenever i this I'm gonna stop right there and I'm gonna correct myself and I'm not gonna do that. Instead, I'm gonna do this, right? That's why I reflect, how can I do this better, Father God? And then Father God, the Holy Spirit gives us the answer. Okay, this. And then the next time we may get it right. The next time we may get it wrong, but we may remember. And then for the next time now, we primed ourselves even more to be ready, right? So that's how, this is all that I'm, 
my intentions to share with you to teach you because this is what I have learned through my own journey, through my life, through my own challenges and struggles, right? But here, I, this is a, such a powerful serendipity here from the sister in Christ, Mary, uh, that I get to share with you all. And we give Father God the glory. Father God gets the glory, right? Once more, if you go back to the channel, I'm going to have to uh, number all the videos because I don't know if y'all can tell how... Yeah, probably from the date that I published them. You can tell which were the first ones. Y'all can go back. Catching Puzzle Pieces was given to me from Father God, inspired by Father God, because I had to figure out how to communicate my message, right, to you all. How to make it my own also. So, it became Catching Puzzle Pieces. Because like I said, when I bought that course from Michael Bernard Beckwith, it was like, you have to catch this understanding, these, these bits of wisdom, this, this. And I didn't know what he was talking about, but I was like, okay, so I'm listening, I'm listening. And by listening, you're learning, you're, you're having your full focus and you're open to, to this information, right? But you're running it through your mind, so you're not just absorbing it and taking it for truth. You're running it through your mind and you're questioning it. And you're talking to Father God. Is this true, Lord? What is true? What is not true? Whatever is not true, let it not that seed planted be planted in my mind and grow. Whatever is true, Lord, let it be planted in my mind and let it grow and expand, Lord. Uh, and and that is that is what I'm seeking to teach you all to. This is the gift that Father God has given me. Remember, I thought I was stupid until the age of 29, 28, yeah, 28 hours arrested, about 29. To the age of 29, for 29-ish years, I thought I was, can, can run that through your mind. Run, I thought I was stupid, I thought I couldn't learn. So I was, I was in the prison of my mind and of shame, of suffering, of all of that. But then I accepted Jesus as my Lord and Savior a few years later. You know, I, the Holy Spirit, Father God, revealed to me that I wasn't stupid and that I could learn. And these are the gifts that Father God has given me to share with the world for whoever is brokenhearted out there. And uh, so, yes. But here I'm going to play the clip. And the glory goes to Father God. The glory goes to Father God. The Lord is saying it's going to it's gonna come together by His grace. That missing puzzle piece is the grace of God. It's, yes. it's the hand of God. It's the work that only God can do. It's the Holy Spirit of God. The Spirit of God that can gather together. The Spirit of God that gathers and also keeps. And the Spirit of God, the grace of God, is what's going to see that thing see you bring that thing into into the fullness of it into completion okay and so i had been keeping this puzzle piece in my purse just as a reminder a personal reminder to myself that it will come together by god's grace and as i did that one day i took it out and looked at it and it was broken okay and so i saw where it was broken and I it will come together by father god's grace not by power, not by might, but by the Spirit of the true and living God, the Lord of hosts. That is the puzzle piece of today. The Lord is saying it's going to it's going to come together by his grace. That missing puzzle piece is the grace of God. It's, it's the hand of God. It's the work that only God can do. It's the Holy Spirit of God, the Spirit of God that can gather together, the Spirit of God that gathers and also keeps. And the Spirit of God, the grace of God, is what's going to see that thing, see you bring that thing into, into the fullness of it, into completion. Okay, and so... I had been keeping this puzzle piece in my purse just as a reminder, a personal reminder to myself that. Yeah. Ah, Father God is so awesome. Father God is so awesome.
thank you father god thank you father god so my channel is for those who are broken hearted for those who maybe if you think you're stupid if you think you can't learn if you if you're in the dark if you're suffering you have a void within you i had a void i tried to fill it with alcohol i tried to fill it with marijuana it's never enough it's never gonna be enough all right thanks to father god now I drink a beer and it's like ugh, it doesn't even taste good it's like it just bloats up my stomach it's like nah it's just it's just for me it's just i just no it's just no you know uh And that's Father God, because before I was so so much suffering, I was, you know, trying to fill that void with alcohol. Never worked. Never worked. Uh, for you, it might not be alcohol. It may not be THC. It may not, it may be pornography. It may be uh, relationships. It may be food. It may be gossiping. It may be, you know, it could be a multitude of things. You have to figure this out. That's why you have to build a relationship with Father God. You. I get to, I'm already doing this. I'm already doing this. I'm not perfect. That's not what I'm saying. But I'm carrying my cross. I'm doing this to the best of my ability. Um, uh, so yeah. So if you want to get out of the dark. I've been there. I've been in the darkness. Uh... Lord Jesus is all I can tell you. Keep going, familia. Keep going, family. Catching puzzle pieces. Um, yeah. Let's keep going. Father God is with us. Me is Thank trying you, to make you focus you, on the Thank things for, that don't seem to be fitting the puzzle. Thank you for Protect them, or are the ones they fight for. Izuku Midoriya is carrying the burden of his power and trying to keep us safe. But he still has a lot to learn. He's just a kid. This is the story of how I became the world's greatest hero. Sure. But not just me. It's the story of how we all became... <laughs> So, which pair of shoes did you pick out? Golf! 
It's got to be them. This is the story of how I became the world's greatest hero. But not just me. It's the story of how we all became the greatest of heroes. Victoria, we can't just sit here. It shouldn't be us this time. Mr. Jekyll, I'm sorry. Forgive me. I was too afraid to say anything before. That girl was trying so hard to get everyone to let you stay. And I knew I had to do something. I'm here. So you don't have to cry anymore. Everything will be okay. A bunch of the shelters turned me away. Yue was the only refuge that would welcome me. I got to see you again, so I'm happy. Thanks for what you did back then, crybaby hero. <laughs> God, in his word, gives us the keys to pass through the gate of rulership because this is a season of ruling and reigning. And the father told me, I'm going to give you keys in this season for 5784 for the door that we are going through. It's not just for me. I can't keep it to myself. I have to share with my brothers and sisters and the other chosen ones because when we prophesy, we only prophesy in part, right? And I have a piece of the puzzle that will help the next man or woman of God, right? So I have to do my due diligence by sharing what the Lord gives. How you want to go and how you want to get there. You gotta control it. If not, it's over. A good human being, a fulfilled human being, doesn't need to break anyone down. All they do is wanna build you up. So anybody you meet that calls you out of your name, that bullies you, that messes you up, that, that makes you feel not lifted, they are dealing with something deep-rooted. When you quit, your mind says, we're done. The mentality that you must have in life is that regardless of what's in front of you, you still must grind. I'll never be in the Olympics. I'll never be a professional athlete, but still I grind. I fail at most things I do, but still I grind. I don't want to do half the shit I do, but still I grind. And that one day, you see me down a dark alley, running at one o'clock in the morning, no one thing. I was grinding. Stay hard. Being accepted is one thing that killed me. And you have to learn what do you want in your life?